Hi, this is Tampa Tech, and learn something new from PC, TVs, and gaming too. Let's get it started. Hi, this is Tampa Tech, and I'm talking about speaker layout. This is your daily tech tips, and this is for the Onkyo Receiver TXNR609. Now, if you're hooking up, uh, I'm going to talk about 5.1 and 7.1 system. Also, there is... Um, Believe it or not, a 9.1 and 11.1 coming out later this year, Ankyo is making. And I'll um, take a look at it right there. Now, that system is 15, about like anywhere between $1,200 to $1,500. But this system I'm talking about is under 500. So if you're just hooking up a traditional receiver, check out this video. Um, so hooking up a 5.1 system would look like this. Surround right, you surround left speaker, go on the side of the couch like that. And your front right and your front left speaker would go on the right and left of the TV. And the center speaker would go obviously right below the TV. Now people, some people and some um, techs recommend um, doing the speakers ear level, height wise. Um, that makes sense to me because you got your sound waves going directly into your ear instead of over your head. So that's something to look out for also. Spreading out the speakers would actually give you a better um, surround sound if you have a bigger room and more sitting area. So if you have like a big couch in a big room, I suggest spreading out the speakers to, you know, uh, wider. Just bring them out more. But if you got a small room, this is fine. Now hooking up the surround right and surround left speaker, some people accidentally do is they would actually plug it in right here do not do that. Don't hook up your surround left and surround right to the 7.1 use only. Okay, that's dedicated for the 7.1. You want to hook up the speakers to right here. Surround left. It says L for left. So the whole top row is left speakers. The whole bottom row is right speakers, except for the center speaker, <laughs> obviously. But um, yeah, hook up the speakers near the couch on the sides of the couch right here, and then the front speakers hook up here and the center speaker hook up hooks up here okay and they're twist knobs so it's easy to do and uh, when you um, strip the wire don't strip it more um, strip it the size of your width of your thumbnail that's that I usually do the rule of thumb no pun intended anyway um, 7.1 use only I would hook up those speakers right here in the back all right so if you have a 7.1 system, then you can hook up the extra two speakers. There's two options. You could do it in the back, right here, or you could put it in the front. There's two front highs. Some people put it above the TV, which are fine. Okay, so it's your you know option. So you choose. Do you want them in the back or do you want them in the front? Some people suggest, oh, I want them in the back because I want to hear it better. Well. Now with this receiver, this receiver comes with the auto calibration microphone and some other receivers do as well. And it calibrates. And as soon as you plug in the microphone, it's basically just a regular microphone. You put the microphone near your headrest on your couch and then you plug in the wire in the front of the Ankyo receiver where it says microphone setup. All right, and once you plug it in in the front of the Ankyo receiver, then it's going to go automatically toggle the setup wizard for the auto calibration and it's going to like make a bunch of sound and tones coming out of here. So what that does is basically it's adjusting the volume, the dBs, the level of each speaker. So even though these speakers right here and here are closer to your head, these will be slightly lowered and the front speakers will be slightly raised. Everything is going to be equally balanced according to your um, sitting area, creating a focal point. So you want to make sure you do that. Now I'm going to um, put up some diagrams of speaker um, diagrams so you guys get an idea.
Uh, also check out my Ankyo, Ankyo playlist for um, you know if you want to see how that auto calibration works. With your subwoofer right here, um, they recommend you can put the subwoofer on the right uh, left side or right side of your TV. That's fine, and that plugs in right here to the back of your subwoofer. But there's also volume knobs in the back of your subwoofer. Um, subwoofer. So I'm gonna um, show you a picture of that. Okay, so again, if you're hooking up doing a 5.1 system, it would look like that. If you're doing a 7.1 system, it would look like that, or it would look like that in your room. Um, there's a few ways to hook up the receiver. All right, now if you're hooking up the receiver, you can hook it up um, the cable box, the DVD player, everything straight to the receiver. I don't like doing that. The reason why is because if it's late at night, I want to just watch the TV with the TV speakers and not have the receiver on and all that bass. So this is what uh, I suggest doing, is you could hook it up this way. So and this is the second option. So if you're doing it this way, um, basically you're hooking up all your components um, straight to the TV. So you got your HD cable box hooked up straight to uh, HDMI you know, two on the TV, HDMI three, it would be PlayStation three, HDMI cable. And then you could do a couple different options. You could hook up the optic out of the audio optic out of the TV. And then you would hook up into the TV input. So it says TV optical. Or if you don't have that, you could do the audio out, which is the white and the red analog. And you plug it in right here, I'm gonna show you. So right here, so if you do have the optical out on your TV, you plug it in right there, and then on the receiver, just select TV mode. I'm gonna show you a picture of the remote also. And Or if you don't have the optical, you could just plug it in, the white and red right here, TV CD input right here. Thanks for watching, post a comment below if you have any questions, like, share and subscribe to Tampa Tech for more videos like this.